I'm Reese Stein at your leisure on a freshwater pond on the edge of the Great Salt Lake, and this time of year it's a bird watcher's paradise. It's a sure sign of spring. The marshes along Utah's inland sea are full of birds, many just passing through, others preparing to settle down and raise a new crop. Maybe the most impressive, certainly the largest, is the tundra swan. There's hundreds of wild tundra swans. To me, they're one of the great symbols of wildness. It's also the symbol to me of marsh conservation in Utah. State Wildlife Information Specialist Phil Douglas glides his kayak across a sun-drenched waterfowl refuge west of Ogden, just loaded with migrating swans. Well, they're simply beautiful to, to watch and behold, and, and uh, we're lucky in this state to have thousands of swans come through in the spring and fall of each year. Marianne pauses as clouds of swans pass overhead. Well, I think I'm in heaven. I forget how great kayaks are on the water. And and you're here, you're just kind of part of the environment. The tundra swan is the most abundant of North American swans. While smaller than other swans, it has a big voice. Swans are just fun to watch. They're, they're magical, they're graceful. It's as much fun to hear swans as it is to see them in my book. Some 60,000 migrate through Utah twice each year on a nearly 4,000 mile journey from their winter quarters in Southern California to their summer nesting grounds in the Arctic. The Great Salt Lake marshes provide a critical rest and refueling station on that long journey. Come through in the spring and fall of each year. Uh, these marshes in the Great Salt Lake have great uh, wetlands food for them. They eat sago pondweed, they come in and, and take advantage of the rich abundance of food that exists at these many marshes. Here at the Bear River Bird Refuge, there's a ton of swans out there, but they're a long ways off. You need a good pair of binoculars to see them. The 12-mile loop road at the Bear River Refuge offers a great chance to see not only swans, but noisy Canada geese, red-winged blackbirds singing to attract a mate, the silent northern harrier searching for lunch, wading birds like the great blue heron, and bald eagles stoking up on carp in the shallow marsh before heading north to breeding grounds, and ducks, pintails, mallards, widgeons, and more. The Great Salt Lake hosts some 7 million birds of 250 different species, according to the Great Salt Lake Ecosystem Program. Along with the Federal Bear River Refuge, the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources manages eight marshes along the Great Salt Lake, which provide areas for food and rest. Access is limited to protect the birds. Kayaks are allowed only on a portion of the state's large Ogden Bay Refuge. Check with Phil at the Ogden DWR office for information. Meanwhile, the swans are gearing up for the next leg of their journey, and their voices ring in our ears as we chase the setting sun back to shore. Tonight is the uh, sun setting over the Great Salt Lake marshes. I'll go to bed with the sound of swan music to fill my head and grace my dreams. Restine at your leisure on the edge of the Great Salt Lake.